following the smooth conduct of convention organized by the leadership of the National Association of Nigerian Students, um, where officials were elected to oversee the running of the students' body affairs. Chairman of the Oyo State Joint Campus Council of Nans Ridwan Adimola Adikoke has warned that the student body under his watch would not tolerate any attempt at causing division as elements of disunity within its fold would be treated with the full weight of the law. The student union leader gave these warning in a bad and during a chat with newsmen where they also promised to put governments on its toes as they pledged to be viable partner in the quest to revamp nation's alien education sector. In addition, the student leader called on each central council to evaluate the next steps of action and desist from being used as agents of destabilization by disgruntled elements to disrupt peace in the state. Group in whatever form or shape to cause division within the student body will be duly restricted. And that anyone who parades in or herself as a fashionable chairman will be arrested by the security agencies and prosecuted for impersonation. I call on the student union president that voted against my candidacy to evaluate the next step of their action and ensure they are not used by element of disruption to cause havoc in New York State as I enjoin them to stand with the righteousness, fairness, and the truth. Under my leadership, all institutions in other states will be treated with utmost respect, fairness, and justice. There are no plans by the Oyo State National JCC under my leadership to organize any protest at the moment, and that any form funding, anyone funding impersonating the student leadership to organize any fictitious protest will have him or herself to be blamed. Our administration will, with immediate effects, begin to reach out to relevant leaders and stakeholders to discuss ways to improve the welfare of the students. We would, as a matter of urgency, also set up a committee to look into the current policy of the federal government on education and propose solutions to the state government on how the pain of our students can be alleviated.